It seems to be blurred. Blurred. What's up guys, it's Paul from Not An Apple Fan here, and I thought I'd talk to you a little bit about building a PC in February. Yes, 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 yes. So I've taught the last couple of months, the last couple of weeks, I've been talking about how shit it is to build PCs and how yeah, what you need to do and how blah 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 blah. And I thought I'd put my money more in my mouth is and buy some PC parts and put your PC together just to show you how cheap you can do it. So um this is going to be like my $500-ish, say $550-ish dollar PC build. Stick around! So, I'm not going to build it today. That'll be tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. That'll be Friday. And the reason why it'll be Friday is because... I haven't got the case yet. Amazon sent out the case like five days before I sent out this stuff. And this stuff arrived. But the case hasn't arrived yet. And it says on the website that its delivery date is five. I, I don't know why one part can be this. Maybe it's coming from somewhere else. I don't know. Anyway, look. Here we go. Right. So, as I said before, Ryzen. If you don't buy Ryzen, you're stupid. Literally stupid. 100 euro, 100 dollars for a 4 core. And that can overclock to 4 gigahertz. So that's the Ryzen 1200. Comes with the stock cooler. I might put this on it, which is the 16 stock 1600X, or 1600 cooler, to get a bit more overclocking or whatever, because I don't need it anymore. So I might put that on it. As I said, CPU. And. I'm not gonna open, do you know what, I will open it. Where's my, my bent nail. This is my opening nail. I'm gonna open this. Yeah, this is, this is just a hard drive. Hard disk, I suppose. One terabyte, one terabyte. So I forgot, to, that's like 50 quid. Everybody knows. It's about 50 quid for a terabyte. Where is my opening nail gone? I lost my opening nail. That 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 could be dangerous. That could stick in somebody's foot! And that won't be nice. I don't know where it's gone. I'm not looking for it. So, yes, we can open this. Uh, give me another opening nail. Give me another opening nail. There we go, another opening nail. Right, so GTX 1050. And the reason why I bought this was because a plan on like Going and buying like an R9 290 or 290X or like a GTX 970 and comparing the... Because, you know, people just see this and they go, I'm going to just buy this because it's a decent price and people recommend it. And yeah, and then they don't realize that you could probably buy a 1070 for the same price. How about 1070? So 970, if you could buy a 1070 for the same price, you would be very lucky. But I buy a 970 for about the same price and it will absolutely destroy this card. So I'm going to try uh, over the next couple of weeks because I'm building this. I'm going to build this and then I'm going to um, I'm gonna do some videos on it. I'm going to go teach you how to overclock it. I'm going to show you what you get, how you can get more performance out of like this. This is what, a 120 euro card. I think it's a, normally a 100, but um, normally a 100, but you know, GPU prices the way they are. So I had to pay a little bit more. Um, I had to pay a little bit more for some of the stuff actually, a lot more of the stuff than I thought I would because I thought I could get this under 500 and I didn't. That that that's that was the same pro that was actually a deal. That was actually less than it retails for. Uh, the RAM I I got 8 gigabytes of RAM. That was n n what 70 quid for 8 gigabyte stick and it's just like it's crucial but it's like 2400 megahertz or something like that. Ridiculous. 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 So I got that, anyway, and then I got these things, 
Right, you see, I'm always conscious of trying to keep the GPU box in good condition. It's a little code for you if you ever want to sell it again, because, um, yeah, it's worth more when you when you keep your box, believe it or not, when you keep your box in good, con good nick. So, there we go. And I tried to not get one of the ones that look, like, you can get ones that are really, really small. Ugh. You can get like 1050s that are like really really small and you can fit in like to, you know small form factor PCs and stuff. But I tried to get the one that looks a bit bigger. Um, and the reason why I tried to get the one that looks a bit bigger is just so it doesn't look out of place in the thing. But look at look, this is what's great about this card. It doesn't need a power connector, so you can bang it in any PC. So if you just need a PC, as I always say, buy a like an old i5 system. Once it's like ATX standard form factor, and just bang this in. There you go. Boom. Gaming PC, and it'll play everything. Might not play everything at the best settings, but yeah, if you want to play PUBG, you need you'll need to get an SSD as well if you want to play PUBG. But it will play everything. Man, I love these new, like printed circuit boards that the robots make. They're great. Yeah. Anyway, there you go. That's it. That's the, the, the GPU GTX 1050 ASUS. Is it an overclocked one? Auto Extreme. I don't think it's an auto, uh, uh, factory overclock one. We'll, uh, we'll bang a big overclock on that and see how our scores improve. And, right, put that there. Right, so next of all, now I know this is a bit of an overkill for this build. It's the Asus, oh, it's the, sorry, the, I'm saying Asus because I got, it's the MSI, MSI Tomahawk B350 motherboard. And it's actually like probably one of the most expensive B350 motherboards. Uh, the reason why I got it was because I'm gonna take that one out of there, and put this one in there, and I'm gonna use that one to do the build with, uh, which makes more sense to me. Come on, open. There we go. Ugh, chop. Yeah, and the reason why is because this board looks fucking baller. Like it looks with the bees knees, the cat's pajamas, the dog's bollocks. Ah, get your... Yeah, doesn't that look awesome? That's beautiful that's a beautiful piece of artwork there. Now I heard that I wanted it because I didn't think it had red LEDs on it, but I found out it does have red LEDs on it. Down here, lights up red. Under here somewhere lights up red. I wonder can you turn them off? Hopefully you can turn them off. Yep. So that's that. That's the Oh no. No, it's the sis fan. Where's where's your Tell me where your uh RGB header is. Do you have an RGB header? Do you have an RGB header? It doesn't look like it has an RGB header. There's loads of system fan things. One, two, three, four. I might better get rid of some of my system fan. Yeah, that this is gonna be it's gonna make my build look way prettier. Because there's two system fans here, so that doesn't mean I don't need don't need all this garbage here. Um I'll probably just I can't see an uh RGB header on it. I could be wrong. So yeah, anyway that's that. MSI Tomahawk. It's the one I originally wanted for my build, but they were just out of stock everywhere when I was buying it, so that's the story there. Look at the box. Oh man, this just looks so much nicer than my, my board. And it is very little in the difference to be honest, in the price. I think it's very little in the performance as well, but I just want I just wanted the prettier board. Tomahawk. Right, so that's that. Finally, finally, the EVGA 450 watt bronze certified power supply. Right, you don't need any more than that. Let's be honest, 500 watts is overkill for most builds. 450 watts will do everything. All you need to do is look at all those reviews of the guys with the watt meter pulling from the wall and you need to see that the, most of them, they only pull like 300 watts. Now I always put an Ardine 290X in this. Yes, it probably wouldn't run, but every other card, like the GTX 970 or 980, or like a GTX 1060, 1070, 
1080 1080 ti will all run in this vega won't so yeah you need a bigger power supply for vega but that'll just tell you how bad vega is anyway guys that's been my little video unboxing of all the stuff that i got to put this build together it's for you to prove that i will put my money where my mouth is to show you where the value is nowadays lads by the way that was 100 quid that was 50 quid uh, that was 50 quid that was 100 quid, that was 70 quid, and that was 120 quid. So total that all up, I don't know what it was. Uh, once again, like it if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, but if you dislike it, tell me why you disliked it, because I can't fix it if I don't know what I did wrong. See you in the next one, lads. Bye-bye.